no one in no one is willing to talk about it about the incident. It looks it looks like I'm running out of options. August seventh. I just realized this is a huge waste of time. Chris, you're a fucking pansy. You keeping diaries? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> like, you like in a court battle. Leon! Claire, your brother's a pansy. It's good to see you're still among the living. Oh, 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 oh man. Like we're not gonna find your brother here after all. Your pansy ass brother keeping diaries and unicorn medals. This is your brother's diary. He's a fucking wuss. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. There's no reason for Let's your brother to suck suck as much cock as what he does. Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Keep in touch, baby. What's your digits? Dead ass. But, uh... <laughs> so let's clarify here. The same guy who punches fucking boulders inside a volcano is the same guy who writes diaries about himself and keeps unicorn medals hidden under them. Yeah. And they say Leon's the gay one. So yeah, another, another fucking shotgun. No, honestly, I do not want to take the shotgun. Claire. I can't believe what is happening to this city. I can't believe what's happening to your brother. So, uh, right over here is the, uh, Wesker's desk. With all of his, with all of his Boy Scout medals. He's probably raped in the Boy Scouts. And, uh, that's Barry's desk, as you couldn't tell by all the guns and shit. And gun cleaning equipment. And the TV. Is there anything else here? Ooh, there's, uh, this pictures of stars members yep look at that I forgot about that we got Brad we got Barry we got Wesker some other fucking people we don't know we got Jill uh, Chris yeah that's about it everyone else we don't fucking know oh and never mind there's that helicopter guy right next to Jill I forgot his name yeah and everyone else is just fucking random Yep, this is Leon's first day in the force. It's fucked up. Have you noticed that Leon? There's two things about there's yeah. There's there's a couple things about Leon that you just flat out cannot change. It's that one The first day he gets assigned to something, something always fucking goes wrong. Like uh it's locked, alright. Like uh first day in the force, this shit happens. Uh, his f his first mission, his very first assignment for the president was finding his fucking daughter. Yeah. And everything just gets fucked with him. Like, for real? And two, never give that man a police car because he will fuck it up in a matter of seconds. Literally. Resident Evil 2. Intro cutscene, baby. Resident Evil 6. Man, I think he, like, like in the college campus thing, I think Leon maybe drove that car for, like, a good 15 seconds before crashing that shit. For the same goddamn reason, too. Same fucking reason. Okay, so... We have the unicorn medal. Good. Uh, that door's locked back there. Same fucking reason, too. Like, a zombie popped out, and instead of... Punching his, punching his fucking nose out like he should have, fucking just. Oh! Don't feel me up. Don't feel me up. Oh, nope. This shit ain't free. This shit ain't free. You gotta pay. No, no, no. Uh oh, don't feel my cock. Don't feel my cock. Um. <laughs> shit. 
Uh, what was I talking about? Um. Hmm. Oh. Fucking, like, instead of popping that zombie in his nose like he should have, and just, I'm sure if Leon just socked him in his face, he would have fell off the car anyway and got ran over. But no, instead he just swerved out of control. Spin the car over. Car exploded. Zombie died in the end. Anyway. But. You know, we don't got a car to use anymore. It doesn't fucking matter. There was. There was a blockade ahead anyway, but still. Like, what the fuck, Leon? So I drop that shit up here. Whoops. And let's go. You gotta be kind of scarce with your save, save, uh, ink ribbons. Because they don't give you all that much. I remember I played this game and I think I've only saved about eight times once. Uh, the last time I played, I believe I saved, I believe I saved only, uh, 11 times. <laughs> Get that Michael Jackson. That is great. I love that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a little allergies. So whenever I try to imitate Michael Jackson or anything that's high pitch, then uh my nose will fuck everything up. Mm -hmm. Get that Michael Jackson. Why don't you come here, little boy? All right. So we got to use that shit right there. All that just for a key. And that's the. A very important key. I honestly thought it was one of those small keys that you open up a little case with, but never mind. <clears throat> I don't want to imitate Michael Jackson anymore, only because... Uh, I used to be very good at it, uh, imitating Michael Jackson in middle school. That was back, like, maybe a year. Not a, not a year ago. What the fuck am I talking about? Um... But, uh, I remember, like, man, he was the shit. Everyone used to imitate Michael Jackson back at middle school. You know, before he died. It's fucked up. But, uh, did we need to... Yeah, we actually could have used the key back there. Um, everyone was good at it. Of course I was good at imitating Michael Jackson in middle school. My fucking voice was high as hell. That's why. Man, I just normally talk and I'd sound like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Poor guy. Never had a chance. Alright, so... Not that. Hello. Okay. Just gonna skip that. Didn't even know that was there. I just kinda clicked X and it popped up. Yeah, there we go. Climb up the little crate. And give me a fucking crank. A crank. Oh, man. That brings some funny-ass Resident Evil 1 memories back. I just want to say this right now. Me and Resident Evil 1, we don't get along all that great. I don't think there's anything else in this room, honestly. Um... Fuck Resident Evil 1. I remember I played through that game back when I was a kid. Back when I was a kid and I played Resident Evil 1 on PlayStation 1. Maybe around when I was like 4 or 6. I think 6. Uh, I didn't have a save card for my PlayStation. So I would play Resident Evil. I would always play the very beginning of Resident Evil like repeatedly. And I never saw the fucking end. Because I never had a save card. And... Oh, can't look at that. So, like, I remember one time I was like, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We are gonna fucking just, like, sprint through this thing like Jesus. And, I'm gonna keep that in there. We're gonna sprint through this thing, and we're just gonna, we're not gonna save once. Because we couldn't save once. There was no save card. I remember one time we went through the entire game. Like, not the entire game, but, like, incredibly close to the entire thing. And I don't remember if we died or if we had to 
we borrowed a lot of PlayStation 1 from our neighbor because they had a PlayStation 1. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we didn't, we have a lot of games now. Shit, we have a lot of games, but, uh, got a big ass collection. I was thinking about coming, uh, there will be a video on that soon, actually. Not soon, like recently, but like within the year. Um, but we used to borrow a lot of PlayStation 1 games from our neighbors because we loved PlayStation 1. These days, it's fucking neglected like hell, though. Like, no one plays the place. I don't even think that bitch is hooked up anymore. It used to be hooked up, but then the wires went missing, which is funny. Dreamcast is hooked up more than the fucking PlayStation. That kind of just shows you. It's funny because there's, like, no games for the Dreamcast. I used to have two, but now I can't find one of them. I used to have the Pac-Man Adventures 3D game, and I used to have Jack Ryan Radio. And I also wanted to get Sonic for Dreamcast with also Code Veronica. Never got around to getting those. Check Ryan Radio fucking broke. So I had to rebuy that on PlayStation Network because I couldn't find a copy on disc for Dreamcast. Another one. I couldn't find another copy. And I don't know what the fuck happened to Pac-Man Adventures. I think that thing just got lost. So yeah, that's what happened to all of that shit. It's a key. There we go. It's useless now. Get rid of it. So yeah, that's what happened to all of that. But uh we went through the whole game and then somehow we lost. So I got I remember I got fucking mad and my uh Sebastian, Sebastian and me we play a lot of Resident Evil together. Ooh, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson. Back up bitch. Ooh, oh, all up in my dick. All up in my dick. Get back. No. Nope. Got the bullets for days. I'm going to die here. This is it. Fuck me. This is tired. I'm gonna die. So all I got is a handgun. You can do it, Black Ocean. Come on. Bitch. Yeah. Go to sleep. You too. Go on. No. My dick ain't for the pleasure of your sucking. Oh. Motherfucker leaped. Wow. Wow, no, that's cool. That's cool. Anyone got like a herb on them? That was bullshit. About to fucking die. Is anything all good here? Hello. Oh, it's bullets. Oh, whatever. I would prefer a herb. Right about now. Shit's looking real mighty tasty. Uh, you can find a small key and open that up, and there will be uh, custom parts for your handgun in there, so you can get three round bursts. So basically, a Matilda from Resident Evil 4. Is there a herb up in this bitch? Actually, what was that? Is that a herb? Oh, <laughs> a red fucking herb. Yeah, that's useful, right? On this occasion. Uh, what in the shit are we doing? I remember there's like a puzzle right here. I can push it left. Left. Nothing's fucking happening. Whatever. I think we have to like turn the power on. Like in a different room or something. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I haven't played this game in a good while. I thought I died. <laughs> I thought once I fell, that was it. No, it's all good. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we do have to, I guess, turn on the power. It's not the power, it's like the power to the bookshelves. Okay, so... Mill. Memorize it. It's a fucked up picture. Memorize it. Alright. We can do it. So... I believe the only... I believe there's only one bookshelf out of place. And it's this one. Okay, no. We have to move both of these to the right. And then that's it. 
So move them both to the right, and that's about it, I believe. Yeah. And that's how you get your first plug. Fucking night plugs. Or not night plugs, chest plug. I don't know why I said night plugs. Yep, take it. <laughs> oh, man. I ain't gonna say shit. I ain't gonna say shit. All I'm gonna say is... <laughs> if you... <laughs> If, if you had one of those, you know how to use it, baby. <laughs> Get some of that probing. 